Good evening to our viewers in the West. Nora's off tonight. I'm Margaret Brennan. We begin with a breaking and major development in the Middle East. The U.S. military has launched a missile strike in Iraq. The strike appears to be retaliation for an attack against the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad on Tuesday. Tonight, an Iraqi official tells CBS News that among the people killed is Qasem Soleimani, a powerful Iranian general and the leader of the Quds Force. The U.S. government considers him a terrorist. David Martin is live at the Pentagon tonight. David, this is a significant escalation, and it could be interpreted as going to war with Iran. It certainly could, Margaret. And just to uh, recapitulate what we know, a U.S. official has told me that indeed the U.S. did con conduct a strike against a target at the Baghdad International Airport tonight. Another person has told a second reporter for CBS that the target was indeed Soleimani. What we don't have yet is confirmation from a U.S. official that Soleimani is dead. If that is indeed the case, this is the murder of one of the most revered generals in all of Iran, and as far as the U.S. is concerned, a man who has American blood on his hands up to his elbows. During the height of the Iraq war, uh, the forces that he directed in Iraq uh, were responsible for killing more than 600 Americans. And he also conducts covert operations in Syria and Lebanon against Israel, as well as covert operations in Yemen. This is a major figure. The stature of a director of the CIA or the Secretary of Defense or the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff in the United States. Uh, David, as you point out, this is potentially a seismic event. Qasem Soleimani, long a wanted man, but no U.S. Uh, strike has been carried out to this point. If the Trump administration confirms it, uh, this is a s serious escalation. 